So we are on the eve of Season 1 Reloaded Modern Warfare Deuce and Half, and for all of us over here on the multiplayer side of it, as far as I know from everything that I've seen, we have, I think, one thing to look forward to with this update. One new map. At least it's an original map. I did see a little video that they kicked out earlier today, and it... Uh, I don't know, man. It, it kind of looks all right. It's really hard to tell with these little videos that they put out. It looks like it could be okay. It looks like it's a little bit on the bigger side. It's, I don't know, man. You, you look at Greece. I think that map absolutely sucks. You know, so this map, could it, like, it's probably going to be on the same lines as Greece. Let's hope it's actually a good map, though. Let, let us hope that they can push out a good original map because i think that's a lot of the pr people's problem with this game right now is just how stale it feels you know we got season two actually starting at the time of recording this three weeks from today so season one reloaded starts tomorrow <laughs> season two starts in three weeks from today honestly man it feels like we're we're heading into like season four or season five shit even season six like it just it feels like with the vibe of the community the way that people talk about this game already, even under my videos in the comment section, just the mood overall of the community is honestly, it kind of feels like this game has already been out for three years. But Call of Duty was, and I'm using the air quotes right now, nice enough to drop us a little bit of news with season one reloaded. And no, it was nothing to do with the skill based matchmaking talk. They came out here and said they were going to talk about it in the coming weeks, and they haven't talked about shit. It's been over a month. And they won't say shit. Bobby Kodak has been gone for over two weeks. And they haven't said shit. And we're all just sitting around with our thumbs up our ass, man, with nothing else to do. We're waiting for this talk. They won't say shit. But anyways, they dropped us a little piece of news. So apparently with Season 1 Reloaded, they're not dropping rank play as soon as the update goes live. They're going to they're gonna feel out the scene and then drop it, I guess, whenever they're ready. <laughs> they say that they're performing checks and shit. I mean, dude, it. this always kind of makes me laugh when everybody's making such a big deal about rank play with these newer Call of Duty games, especially. Like with Cold War, everybody was talking about ranked. Vanguard, people were talking about rank. Modern Warfare, Deuce, rank. Like, why are these motherfuckers talking about rank? Maybe because they wanted... Like, it is the exact same experience. You go into pubs, you sweat. You go over to the rank, you sweat. I mean, I guess one of the perks is with ranked is you don't have all the bullshit to deal with that we have to deal with over there in pubs. You don't have all the broken guns and the stupid equipment and everything else. You have Like, I, I just, I don't understand. Like, it, it just makes no sense to me, man. We already have ranked. Just go play pubs, man. Just go play TDM. There's your ranked. <laughs> or maybe it's because y'all get a rank in ranked where you don't get that in pubs, like you got your diamond and your platinum and all that shit. I don't know. I don't pay attention to rank. Listen, man, the only option we have in this game, in Call of Duty, especially in this new age of Call of Duty, is to sweat until you fucking get off the game. That's it, man. That's the only option you got is to go, go, go like you're in a professional tournament. So I'm already over there sweating. I'm not trying to think about another playlist to go over and sweat in, man. I could give a fuck about a rank. <laughs> I don't care about diamond and platinum and all this shit, man. Yo, pubs is stressful enough. It just, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just, it's just for me. I just, I don't understand why people make a di big deal about rank. Like, dude, we already have it in pubs. It makes more sense to me to take that dev time and put it into other shit. Instead of worried about a ranked mode, give us some more maps. Do something with the guns, the streaks. I don't give a fuck, man. Do something. You're just giving us the same fucking mode, man. We already have a sweat mode, and now we'll have another sweat mode. It just, for me, personally, it doesn't make any sense. But they have given us an update to Ricochet as of today. This one's funny, man. It is, it is a sad day for our brethren over there on the keyboard and mouse, especially the ones that I've seen on a couple of my videos, salty as hell, and... They're crying about overpowered aim assist, it's legal aimbot, and all this shit. Like, to the high heavens, man, these dudes. They're, they're Call of Duty gods, according to them, right? They're Call of Duty gods, and we're all trash on controller. And, you know, aim assist is legal aimbot, and it plays the game for you. And then, it, like, I'm talking, like, I'm thinking of a couple right now in specific. Like, later on in the thread, if you actually get talking to these cats, these fucking weirdos, they will tell you 
that they've been abusing Amos's on keyboard and mouse. Well, I got a little surprise for these bitches. So check this out. Our security detection systems now target players using tools to activate aim assist while using a mouse and keyboard. The Call of Duty application will close if detected. Repeated use of these tools may lead to further account action. <laughs> Yo, what was it that Advanced Warfare told us? Press F to pay respects. <laughs> these dudes, these dudes are done, man. You got all these motherfuckers out here, keyboard and mouse, and they still got aim assist? And they're crying about aim assist? Yo, you can't make this shit up, man. I swear to God. Some of the keyboard and mouse community gotta be some of the cringiest motherfuckers we've ever seen on this planet. Now, there is some normal people on keyboard and mouse. For those people, like, you actually just, you play on PC, you do not cheat, you don't cry about aim assist all day long because you know the advantages you have with keyboard and mouse. I am not talking about you when i say this you're one of the normal ones bring it over here man we'll roast some marshmallows and shit i want you normal ones over here to the channel all these bitches out here crying about controller on a daily fucking basis man and i say this because i've seen them say it straight up to me oh controller has aim assist so fuck you guys i'm, I'm using it on keyboard and mouse like they already have the keyboard and mouse cheese they already have the advantages that pc has over console even with the ps5 and xbox series x and they're still so trash while calling us trash ironically they need to use aim assist on their mouse and keyboard man you got the precision you got the mobility you got all these advantages and it's still not enough while they call us trash on uh, console and control man i'm telling you bro it's just you can't make this shit up see there's some people that think i actually hate the keyboard and mouse community i don't i don't uh, up until like I don't know, maybe a year ago, I actually never had a problem with you guys. I always thought that you had a little bit of an advantage over controller players. I don't give a fuck what anybody says, what their opinions are on aim assist. Yeah, it is a little bit stronger. Now. I'm going to say it in a commentary so I don't have to say it again in the comment section. Yes, it is stronger nowadays. I feel like they did that because of crossplay with PC. I feel like they could dial it back just a little bit. But dude, it is nothing like what you bitches make it out to be online, man. But it wasn't until I seen all you motherfuckers out here crying, crying a fucking river. Like, get these bitches a bottle and some diapers, man. Just, like, crying all day long. Every time they eat a death. Aim assist, man. Aim assist. And they're dead serious, too. They ain't trolling. Aim assist. Like, I remember catching some nerd. I don't remember what his fucking name is, man. I muted this nerd on Twitter a while ago. I think it's, like, caught in 4K or something like that, man. I don't know. He used to be some type of hacker hunter or some shit, too. I remember he literally posted an aimbot clip crying about aim assist. And I seen tons of clips like that and posts like that from these people just crying about aim assist nonstop over just nothing, dude. It, it was like, I just seen a clip actually yesterday where a dude is, he's booty sliding all over the place. He, he throws a C4, misses. He hits the dude with a bunny hop. Doesn't even start hitting his shots. He's on keyboard and mouse. Doesn't even start hitting his shots on the dude in the gulag until he started to already take damage. So obviously he loses the gunfight. What does he do? He puts up a post crying about aim assist, man. Like these, these weirdos will cry about aim assist over anything. It does not matter what it is. It could be actual aimbot and they will come out here. Oh, it's aim assist, man. <laughs> like these. Y you ain't fooling nobody, man. Anybody with a fucking brain, you ain't fooling them. You can't kind of con. Y'all fucking, y'all got this echo chamber and this hive mind. And it's just, maybe it works on the weak. Like, it gives you all an excuse every time you lose a gunfight. Oh, it's fucking aim assist, man. It's legal aimbot. Y'all are just shit. You just, like, it's honestly, man. People throw this around way too much in the modern day. But it's a skill issue, dude. You have every advantage you can think of in gaming. And you cry about a motherfucker with a little bit of aim assist, aiming with his two thumbs and a couple of sticks. It don't make any fucking sense, man. These are the people that I have a problem with. I don't hate all keyboard and mouse players, man. I don't hate all PC players. All you clean players out there. I don't hate you guys. But trying to tell me that aim assist does shit, it straight up does not do is not gonna fly around these parts man i've been playing call of duty since cod 4 all right we've been around for a minute i know what it does 
I know what it can't do. And you motherfuckers come out here with a straight face and be like, oh, this aim assist. This is, this is what it does for you. And no, it fucking doesn't. So they always try to get out ahead of the pack, right? So they'll put up a stupid clip like that, a stupid post, and they'll be like, oh, here comes all the, well, my aim assist doesn't do that. It's because it fucking doesn't, and you know it doesn't. That's why you try to get ahead of it with that cheese. It's, dude, it's, ah, uh, it's, um, it's on another level, man. It is straight beta male behavior. These dudes, these weirdo nerds, they're on another level, man. It is clearly a skill issue. You got the precision, you got the mobility, and what the, what the fuck are you doing with it? You're crying about aim assist on controller. Well, now you can't use aim assist on your bitch ass keyboard and mouse. How about them apples? <laughs> Put that in your motherfucking pants and spank it. I don't know. I don't remember where I heard that from, but fuck, I heard that somewhere. But anyways, this video is getting kind of long. I wanted to keep this one short because we'll probably be doing something with season one reloaded in the new map tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on that next one.